Welcome to a brand new hour of America's News Headquarters. I'm Ed Henry. Good to and see you. And I'm Molly Lyon. Great to be with happy you today. And Happy New Year to everyone out there. Anti-government unrest continues in Iran as protesters take to the streets for a fifth straight day. President Trump's cell phones are so much a part of our daily lives that lots of unexpected moments were captured on camera in 2017. Caroline Shively breaks down the most memorable ones. To see these sort of like once in a generation or something, I've seen them all. The I don't. I I feel like we've seen a few just recently. <laughs> I like them. They always create you know, an opportunity for like a great photo of a plane going in front of the moon or something. Yeah, you see those, and uh, you know maybe we'll get Air Force One flying by it or something. Ooh, yeah. and, you know, you get so special things. It'll be in the uh, next year's uh, Insta <laughs> or I guess this year's going in next year's Instagram package about yeah. the great the great images. Exactly, <laughs> and and then we're kicking off the new year right with a, with a little extra. Folks looking for the yeah, sky. I was in Those Times Square like last activity. night for our special, and for, for the first time saw that confetti coming down. It's even more interesting than the ball drop. 3,000 pounds of confetti. It was awesome. All right. Uh, a New Year's Day morning uh, to the U.S. from North Low, everyone. Welcome to a brand new hour inside America's News Headquarters. Happy New Year. I'm Molly Lyon. Good to see you and be working with you yes, again. I'm and glad I'm, you made it in from Times Square so last night. Yeah, I got a little bit of sleep, and I'm Ed Henry. North Korea's Kim Jong-un saying not to be there. I was there and I'm not <laughs> complaining. It was great fun. But, you know, it's so intimidating as a guy because you got Dean Cain, Superman. Well, he's out course. there with me. Well, and he was Lisa there Ray just Booth. in case, of course. And they That's offered us smart blankets. Way to do it. And he's like, you're not going to take a blanket, are you? No. Like, yes, I no. am. And I was waiting for him. And he finally <laughs> kind of caved. I'm going to snag that yeah, blanket. Kennedy called him out on it. I can't he believe Lisa by. didn't just go, give me that. Yeah. And, and he, he had a blanket on at some point. So I'm like, if, if Superman's got a blanket and a cape. I can at least get a blanket. Absolutely. <laughs> I fo follow Dean Cain. I knew he was in charge. Yeah, he did a great job. <laughs> All right. Well, recreational pot shops are now open for business in California. Quadrillion. <laughs> uh, Molly, if you... Has that ever happened? I, I can't imagine Why those Why can't that odds. happen to us? That's what I'm wondering. But I want to know, the next holiday, if you win this Tuesday or Wednesday, would you come back and host with me or would you be out of here? Um, well, come on. I mean, I mean, if you call, you're taking too really long. Nicely, you're taking too long to answer. I think afternoon. you would just take a long vacation. Maybe. Right, exactly. <laughs> you're due a long vacation. You need a yeah, break. I'm going to do that. Starting I hope tomorrow. you win a lot of cash. All right. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, the wrong best picture almost always takes home the Oscar, and a number of celebrities and politicians were hit with sexual harassment allegations. 2017 was a year filled with scandals in Hollywood and Washington. Fox News anchor Ainsley Earhart takes a look back. And welcome to a brand new hour of America's News Headquarters. I'm Ed Henry. And happy New Year, Molly. And I'm Molly Line. We begin with a Fox News alert. Violent. Meanwhile, a top Republican ripping into the Justice Department for not releasing documents in the Russia probe. Our next guest says the DOJ may have a good reason, but it's also raising this question. What is the Justice Department trying to hide? He'll explain why forcing the DOJ to comply with a subpoena from Congress could be easier said than done. That's ahead. All right, and today marks the first day of legal recreational marijuana in one of the nation's largest states. A lot of people watching that closely. Yes, they are. Some folks may have to wait, though, before lighting up. We have the reason just ahead. Well, as we just noted, every new year, lots of new laws taking effect around the country. Foxnews.com has a good list if you want to check it out. Well, you knew you had to do that, you know. Uh, I saw it in there, and I'm like, I'm going to read that anyway. I like it. So do you feel bad at all that you got to hang out in a studio last night just like this while I was braving the elements out there with Superman? And I did not feel bad at all. <laughs> uh, this morning with? as I walked to work, I was like, man, it's cold. But I was like, I'm not even going to mention this to Ed. What did that right? last, like but three minutes? So that was like three minutes. Right. The walk. Exactly. Well, it was a three-minute walk. See, it was a brutal three-minute <laughs> walk. Oh, you spent oh, a couple so hours. Brutal.